and welcome to today's section of analysis. So we won't be doing much today, but let's take a very quick look at the fundamentals we have outlined for us today. So today being 5th of November, 2024, we have a couple of fundamental events outlined for us today. By 4.30, we had the AUD news, news which has happened already. By 5.30 a.m., we saw another AUD news, which has happened already. So for the rest of today, by 4, we'll be having the USD news, which is going to be on ISM services or PMI. And this news measures the level of diffusion index based on so purchase, so vid purchased managers, including manufacturing companies and the rest of that. So, but this news will have much effect. Now, why is this? This is simply because today is the presidential election for the United States. The United States will be having their presidential election today, which might make the market volatile or inconsistent. Inconsistent in a way that the market might not move in a particular direction. It could just have multiple volatility without moving in a particular direction due to the fact that we'll be having the presidential election today. So you want to watch out for this. You can see this is a news for the whole day. You can see all day. And the impact of this news is not just going to last for today. It could last for the rest of this week. It could even last till next week, the impact of this fundamental event. So I want you to stay very much active on this event right here and treat cautiously. I repeat again, stay at the light on this event right here and make sure you trade cautiously based off of this fundamental news event. So let's move over to the technical side of things. Then later at night, we'll be having the NZD news, which is going to be later on at night. But for now, let's focus on this fundamental event that we have here and look at what the market is doing technically based off of these fundamentals. So let's move over to the technical side of things. I'll start off from the dollar index. I'll start off from the dollar index. So what can we spot on the dollar index from right here? I would like starting from where the market was coming from to where the market currently is. We're creating a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, a lower high, and right here we also have a lower low. Showing us that from right here down to this bottom here, we are on a downtrending market. Market was downtrending. That is what this simply reflects to us. And what is happening right here? Right here, we have a high. We can see this momentum that came up. This is more like a retracement right here. But now, the, the, the beautiful thing about the retracement is that it could last for a long time and it could become a continuation because I can see multiple week rejection right here after the break of this level. So take a look at this level right here. If this level right here gets respected, then we might tend to see the market moving towards the top because this level aligns to be a level of support, turn resistance, broken above, turning support again. And if you look down here, this is also a demand level. So this is a very strong confluence area. This is a very strong area that should be looked out for. So from right here, any rejection we spot from right here, we might end up pulling this market to the top. So we might still see a bullish dollar because we are on top of support and also on top of demand level. But if we break below this demand, close below this demand right here, I'll be seeing USD retrace down here before a possible move to the top or before a long-term move towards the downside. So this is what we are going to be expecting on DXY. Let's move over to the four-hour time frame to see very clearly. Okay. So from the four hour time frame, we can see that once market tapped into this area of demand, just like I spotted, we got this rejection. On the four hour, we're on lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. We had this weekly gap, which created a lower low right here and brought us down to this area of demand, which is also on these levels of support and resistance. And so what is happening from right here? You can see that from right here on the one hour, we had a change of trend again towards the upside which means we should be expecting the market to pull up to probably these areas right here. So we're expecting the market to pull up possibly to these areas right here. So as it stands on the four, four hours, dollar index is 
bullish. Daily, we are seeing a retracement of four hours. We are becoming bullish gradually on dollar index. But I'll be patiently waiting for us to break above this trend line for this to be confirmed. Let me draw a trend line. And this trend line is forming something like a pattern. It's forming something like a bullish pattern, a bullish flag pattern. So I might want to see a break above this trend line for us to continue moving this market towards the top. So a break above this trend line, a break above this trend line will indicate to us that this market might start moving towards the top. So I want you to anticipate and just watch closely, but I would advise that you don't do much today in the market seeing that it's the US election. So you might want to trade any other currency pair that is not um that is not paired with the United States dollars because of the fundamentals today being their presidential election today. So I advise you trade something like GBP, JPY, and the rest of that that might not have much effect based on the election that is happening you now, or Euro JPY, some of those currencies. It will be very it will be very much better you trade them than trading the US because of the presidential election today. So from right here, we might be expecting a move towards the top. We might be expecting a pull, a tap down here and a pull towards the top. So that is what I would like you to anticipate from these areas right here. Let's move on to the one hour time frame to see what the market is doing. So one hour, it's even much clearer to us that the trend has changed. But then, like I said, let's see what happens on this trend line. Anytime market comes down, that touches the bottom of this trend line, it rejects to the top, touches the top, rejects to the bottom of the trend line, touches the bottom, rejects to the top, touches the top, rejects to the bottom. And right here, you can see we did touch the bottom of this trend line. We came to the top right here, of which we can see the market rejecting the top. We can see the market rejecting the top. So this could give you a very short sell before the buy is coming. But well, I'll be waiting for markets to break above this trend line. I want to see a break above this trend line, a retest for me to continue with this buys to the top. So if this doesn't happen, I'll be patiently waiting. I won't take any actions because four hours, we are still very bearish on four hours. Daily, we are still bearish. One hour is bullish. So one hour being, being, being bullish cannot, it, it can control the four hours. The four hours is higher than the one hour, obviously, in terms of time frame. So the higher time frame tends to give us a more clearer directional bias than the smaller time frame. So one hour is bullish, but four hours is bearish, daily is bearish. Until it break above this trend line. That is when we cannot specify and we cannot see without no doubt that we are now bullish on this market. But one hour being bullish, it's not a go for me. I always wait for the four hours and the one hour to align for me to pick a trade, of which as it stands, those are not aligning. So I'll be expecting a break above here for me to take a trade. But as long as we are rejecting this trend line right here, it might be a sign that we are coming in line with the four hour trend. So I want you to trade cautiously, everybody. Trade cautiously. So daily time frame will spot what is happening on dollar index. One hour will spot what is happening. Let's move very quickly to other currency pairs. I'll be touching just few currency pairs I'll be touching GBP USD, Euro USD, USDCHF, and gold. That will be the only currency pairs I'll be touching now. So let's go over to GBP USD. And I'm going to start off from the daily time frame very quickly. So, what is happening on the daily time frame on GBP USD? I can spot that from right here, we're on this very strong higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high trend. But then we got to break below right here, breaking this area right here, showing us that we are not currently having or experiencing a trend change that may end up pulling this market towards the downside for a very long time. So for this trend to become bullish, we need to see a break above this area right here. Because as it stands, we are still very much bearish on this trend. So personally, I'll be looking for more sellers than buyers on this market from a daily perspective. But then we might have a daily retracement that might pull up to this area before we continue to sell. So we are patiently anticipating that to happen first before we take action because it could just 
form up here, retest here, and we keep pulling to the downside. This is very, very possible in the market. So we may not have this 50% or 75% retest to this area. If you, if you draw the Fibonacci, notice that this is a 75% area retest from a daily structure. That doesn't always happen. So we might just retest here and keep pulling to the downside. But GBP USD were bearish on the my bearish on the daily time frame. Four hours time frame as well. You can spot very clearly that we are bearish. How? Take a look at this. Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. A lower low here, a lower high, a lower low right here. And what do we spot here? We can spot that this is a very key lower high. Uh, I love this lower high because if we should draw a Fibonacci from right here, from the top right here, okay. Okay, thank you so much. So if we should draw a Fibonacci, from the top right here. Let me quickly draw the Fibonacci to this point right here. What can you spot? You spot that we are currently at the 71% area of retracement. Now, let me highlight this for you. This is the 23% area. This is the 38% area. This is the 50% area. This is the 60% area. And right here, we have the 78% area. And anytime market retests the 78% area after every retracement, it is seen as a discounted or a premium area, which is the best area to take trades from. So we are currently at a premium area because this is a 78% area from a Fibonacci standpoint. So this is a very nice retracement that we might, we might end up looking forward. Thank you so much, my God bless you, friend. Thank you, man. So, so from this area right here, we can spot that very clearly. We've tapped up on this area right here. This is also if you check closely. This is not just a seventy-one percent area retracement. This also aligns to be an area of support and resistance. Now let's look from the back, and let's let's draw this out here. You can see very clearly. This also aligns to be an area of support and resistance. Why? Look at what is happening right here. We had a support right here, a resistance right here, a resistance right here, a support right here. You can see how the market dropped, and now we're currently at this supporting area right here. So this is a very strong area indicating to us that we have a high tendency of pulling towards the downside. So there's a very strong tendency that GBP USD will put towards the downside. Now, the only skepticism that I have is the fact that today is the United States election. So markets might be slow, markets might move randomly due to the election happening today. So if you look at the one hour, now this is the one hour time frame. One hour is already bearish on GBP USD. Let me draw this out for you. We're on this downtrending market from a trend line standpoint. And what happened? Very clearly, you can see that we've broken out of this. We've broken out of this area. Let me draw this as well so that we get to see this very clearly. So on a very clear standpoint, you spot that we've broken out of this area where we had an impulsive move to the downside, a corrective move to the upside. And what are we expecting? More impulsive move to the downside. So I'll be very much bearish on GBP USD. GBP USD, I'll look for more sellers on GBP USD. Why? We've broken out of this trend line. We are currently on a very strong four hours and daily time frame resistance. So I'll be expecting more sell towards the downside on GBP USD. So that is what my expectation is going to be. I would have given a sell stop order, but I'm very skeptical because today is UX election. I'm going to keep repeating that. So I won't want to push in any trade and the market moves in a kind of random manner. So let's move quickly over to USDCHF and see what USDCHF is doing. So I'll start off from the daily time frame on USDCHF. Okay. So on USDCHF, I can spot very clearly that we're on this very strong downtrend where the market was pulling down with a lot of momentum. And right here, take a look at this. We're already on this market shifted and we are now having an uptrending momentum of which we broke this area right here. We broke this area right here. Got a retest 
right here. And what happened? We still broke other areas right here. And now we're also having a retest upon these areas here. So from this area, I tend we tend to see a rejection from the daily that's going to pull this market to the top. I can see how yesterday's daily candle stay closed with a weak rejection. Take a look at this weak rejection right here. Let me highlight this first. Okay, take a look at this weak rejection right here from the daily yesterday. And take a look at today's daily candlestick is coming in with momentum. So we tend to see more bullish momentum coming in from this market. Take a look at what is happening right here. So we tend to see more bullish momentum. This is like an impulse, a corrective move. We are expecting an impulsive move to the top. So this is where I'm still even confident that GBP USD will be bearish for this market. So I'll take the last currency, which is going to be on gold. And I'll take just one or two requests and we'll call it a day for today. So gold has been on a very strong uptrend. Gold has been bullish for a very long time. Gold has been very bullish. Any person who has been selling gold, I, I wonder what they've been saying. Gold has been strongly bullish, creating these higher highs, higher lows consistently for us. And from this level highlighted here, we're currently on a um, area of support right here on, the, on this time frame. Going down to the four hours time frame, I can clearly see that we are also on a very strong area of four hour support. So I won't be bearish on gold because why do you, why, why, why should I be bearish on gold when the, the two higher time frames are showing us more bullish momentum? So I would rather be bullish on gold than being bearish on gold. So I look for more buyers to the top on gold rather than silver. That is all my expectation is going to be on gold. So uh, please focus more on buys on gold than on sales than sales on gold because long term we are bullish so any sale is going to be short-lived any sale you spot on gold is going to be short-lived only the buys will stand for a long time every sales i'm going to say again you spot on gold is going to be short-lived only the buys will stay for the longest period of time so one request here's the jpy i'm going to take here's the jpy then we'll call it a game now, remember, we started off from using dollar index as our point of reference when it comes to other currencies. And we spotted dollar index being bullish on the one hour time frame. So definitely, we're bearish on the four hour time frame, which we're expecting a break above a trend line of which the market is already on the trend line as we can spot. So USDJPY is also very bullish. USD JPY is also very bullish. Take a look at what is happening on USD JPY. We are strongly bullish on USD JPY from what I can spot right here. So I would advise you to look for buyers. We saw on JPP USD, we are bearish. USD JP, USD CHF, we are bullish. Gold, we are bullish. Uh, what's the name? USD JPY, we are bullish as well. So please look for more bullish momentum on this currency rather than bearish momentum. More bullish momentum. But then this is the four hours time frame. We have to wait to see for the four hour itself to become bullish. So a break above this level on USD JPY. So USD JPY is printing the same pattern as the dollar index. So immediately I get a break above this level, we'll keep pulling towards the top on USD JPY. So last currency PM we call it today, which is going to be the BTC USD from a request. Now, yesterday, I think I spent. I highlighted on BTC USD that we should sell BTC USD yesterday afternoon. And yes, 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 you can be bullish on gold and still be bullish on USD DXY. That happens. Check the data that have been happening. Now, there's a point in trading where correlation doesn't work like that. And gold is not like other currency. There are a lot of factors that affect gold, a lot of factors. So Dollar can be bullish and gold is going to be bullish at the same time. That happens here. If you look at the, his, the, the data for the past one month, two months, you can see that happen clearly in the market where gold is strongly bullish and dollar as well as been bullish at the same time. So that happens. So there's a point in time in trading where correlation does not work. Dollar can be selling and GPP USD can be selling as well. So be very mindful when this time comes up in trading. So 
yesterday DXY and BTC rather was around this area yesterday analysis in the morning. And I told us we are currently bearish on BTC yesterday that we should look forward to selling and take a look at the sell. And it came directly to the area I had predicted yesterday. If you stayed up on the analysis yesterday, you can easily spot this. It came directly to the area because we had this area as our first take profit yesterday when I was talking about it. And we had this area as our second take profit. It didn't come to the second take profit, but it surely did take the first take profit, which that should be more than 100 pips if you calculate rightly. So what is currently happening on BTC USD? BTC USD is not yet bullish. Why? We can spot that this is the previous four hours high. This is the new, this is the new low created, right? Until we break above this high, we are still bearish on BTC USD. So a break above this high makes us bullish. But BTC USD for the longest time is bearish. I want you to take note of that. Longest time, BTC is bearish. But we need to break above this high. Longest time, rather, BTC is bullish, not bearish. Sorry for that, bullish. But we need to break above this high now for me to advise you to take a buy. As it stands, focus on the sell, please. Focus on the sell. The sell because we are currently below this four hours high. And you can spot the structure from here. Lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. This is a lower low right here. This is a lower high. So I expect market to come and take the buy sell side liquidity right here to pull towards the downside. Because when we fail to take buy side liquidity, definitely market will come to take the sell side liquidity, which is down here. So that is what I'll be expecting to happen on this. Yeah, I think we've had a lot of requests today. I think we have to stop here right now. Any other requests can come in in the afternoon. I can see more requests, but please let's take that in the afternoon. Thank you, everybody, for staying up on today's analysis. So for BTC USD, I think if you can get a confirmation from right here, if the next two one-hour candlesticks are bearish, the next one-hour candlestick, are two one-hour candlestick, like one, two, are bearish, I'll look forward to selling BTC. So you want to take note of that because we're still on the seller's trend. Still on the seller's trend. So thank you, everybody, for staying up on today's analysis. Um, see you all for London section, or rather New York, pre-New York section analysis. God bless you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you, Victor. Thank you very much, Victor. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead.